Yes, yes, I know. Here in Australia, we are a little bit backwards. But when it comes to extracting lithium, well, an Australian company has just announced a much more efficient lithium extraction process. This process could absolutely change the world when it comes to the lithium we're able to mine. Meaning what? Cheaper batteries, cheaper cars, cheaper energy storage, and a completely different planet. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans and I'm coming to you here from Melbourne, Australia. Welcome to your new subscribers. Welcome back everyone else. Wonderful to see you. Lithium batteries, according to Steve Hanley at cleantechnica.com, are vital to the clean energy revolution. I agree with him. Whether they are used to power electric cars, electric trucks, houses, or store electricity from renewable sources such as wind and solar, they're changing the world now and they will continue to do so until the entire world runs purely on renewables, which it eventually will. It's not a question of if, it's simply a question of when. However, the lithium needed to make those batteries is not uniformly distributed around the world, not always necessarily easy to get to either. In addition, many of the global sources are controlled by one country, the bad guys, sort of, China. Much of the world's supply is dissolved in brine, but some, in fact a lot of it, is locked into rocks, much as aluminium is found in the ore bauxite. Australia supplies 60% of the lithium extracted from an ore called spodumene. According to Mining Weekly, current extraction techniques only recover between 50 to 70% of the metal using a process that is extremely energy intensive. It's sort of like two steps forward, one step backwards, until now. Recently, Australia's Nuclear Science and Technology Organization has joined forces with Lithium Australia to develop a new technology. This new technology is able to extract up to 95% of the lithium available in the spodumene ore. It can also squeeze more out of the waste left behind by the conventional extraction process. So we're gonna go from 50 to 70% to 95%. This is absolutely game-changing. I cannot state this highly enough. This new process called LIENA or L-I-E-N-A eliminates the need for high temperature processing, thereby massively reducing the energy costs needed to extract the lithium. Patented by Lithium Australia, LIENA technology involves an initial treatment with core sticks under autoclave conditions to form a synthetic lithium sodalite. The metal is then easily extracted and purified into lithium phosphate. From there, it can be directly used in the manufacture of lithium iron phosphate batteries, says Steve at cleantechnica.com. ANSTO senior process chemist, Dr. Chris Griffith, told Mining Weekly that not only does this new technology improve the overall extraction rate, it also avoids the energy intensive high temperature steps associated with conventional spodumene processing, and it can increase the sustainability of lithium operations worldwide. Basically, what it means is many of the lithium projects right now that are kind of borderline financially viable will become viable. And instead of just becoming viable, we'll be able to extract nearly double the amount of lithium from those projects versus what we could using existing old technologies. Until now, it's been quite accepted by industry that a large amount of lithium is lost during processing. We're the first in the world to achieve such an efficient level of extraction, Griffith says. This technology has huge potential for an industry which is integral to our transition into the electrification of transport and ultimately to a cleaner and a greener future. I've got to say I'm excited. ANSTO has been pleased to work with Lithium Australia on processing technology development since 2015. And it is sensational to see this new technology reach this stage. Griffith points out the demand for lithium has reached record high levels. The amount of metal used has almost quadrupled in the last decade, with some estimates indicating that the global lithium ion battery market will grow in size 
from 41.1 billion in 2021 to 120 billion by 2030. Now, I think that's a massive underestimation. I think we're looking at a minimum of 200 billion by 2030. This is an enormous industry. Innovation like this puts Australia in a good position to move away from simply supplying a mineral concentrate to overseas converters as quickly as possible. It provides another avenue for Australia to maximize the value from our valuable critical and energy mineral resources, and it allows us to conduct more value-adding downstream processing here in Australia, he adds. Extracting more lithium while using less energy is a winning formula, not just for Australia, but also for the rest of the world. Now, for those of you who don't know, in Australia, we mine the raw lithium material, but then we get it sent off to be purified and extracted and go through other processes to countries like China. So in other words, we're losing a lot of the value. However, recently companies in Australia are starting to produce battery grade lithium. These kind of technologies will allow countries like Australia to control their future rather than relying on China for lithium refining. This is a huge step and I don't think it's being really appreciated by the news media. The news has really said nothing about this, but this could add billions and billions of dollars to Australia's bottom line. And potentially if this technology is used overseas, the same thing would apply. Now to give you an update on what's going on with extracting lithium from seawater, yeah, that ain't happening. Lithium in salt and sea brine is 2,000 to 4,000 times more concentrated than it is in seawater. Why would you spend money and energy concentrating seawater by a factor of 2,000 to 4,000 times when you can just pump it out of the ground in a much more concentrated form? Why not let someone else pump the brine out of the ground, i.e. geothermal power plants that are already doing that, extract the lithium, then return the brine to the ground? That's the exciting new development going on right now with lithium that might actually happen on a massive scale in the near future. So here's two new developments, right? We now can extract lithium at a much higher concentrated dose thanks to this new technology in Australia. In addition to that, the brine currently extracted and evaporated in Chile is incredibly up to seven times more concentrated than it is in the lithium that's extracted from the salt and sea brine. So you can see here, extraction of lithium is moving forward in an amazing way with new technologies being developed constantly. Yes, there will still be a shortage this year, but in a few years, it looks as though the lithium we're able to extract will actually be able to catch up to the world's battery needs. What will that mean? The price will start to come down, electric cars and energy storage will become cheaper, and we'll reach our sustainable energy targets much faster than what it looks like we will today. That's the positive news. Believe me, there's a lot of positive news I don't have time to share with you, but it's coming. It's coming fast. And what a world we live in. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.